Yo, what's going on guys? Today, I am bringing to you my August rotation. Now, this is anything too formal, anything too crazy. I'm just gonna be talking to you guys about some of the stuff I've had on repeat all August. Now, with this being for the month of August, there is hella Utopia in here. I'm, obvi I'm not even gonna talk about Utopia too much. The review just dropped. You can go look at it on the channel. But I mean, obviously, Utopia, I've been listening to all fucking month. That's besides the point. That is besides the point. It's also important to consider the fact that August is the end of summer. So, I don't know about you guys, I listen to a lot of trap music in the summer. You know, that's like the main thing I listen to. So, I got like about eight artists that I've just been kind of, not spamming, but really that I've really been listening to a lot more than everyone else. Um, Obviously, having all except functions will contribute to this too. But yeah, let's just get right into it. This month, Travis Scott, Lil Baby, Young Thug, Future, Playboy Cardi, Kodak Black, and A Boogie. Not in that order. That's just the, the order I said them in. But I've been listening to hella from those seven rappers this past month. Now, Travis Scott, of course, you got Utopia, which again, like I said, has been all over, you know, my playlist, all over my listening. Uh, songs like My Eyes, Stand Above the Rest, that I've been listening to hella. Fiend has been in rotation a lot. Meltdown, Hyena, and Topia Twins with Rob49 and 21 Savage have also been in rotation a lot. Of course, old Travis is in rotation. There's some, you know, through the late night. There's some stuff from Astro, stuff from, stuff from Rodeo, but it's really been a utopia dominant month. Talking about Lil Baby, songs like Light On, songs like Bank with Moneybag Yo, and Grace with 42 Dog have all been big ones for me. Grace, oh my God. That's an anthem for me right now. 42 Doug's verses are great. The whole build up, the ethereal, like, synths in the background of the beat, that kind of sound like the start to Location by Cardi. Fire. Speaking of Cardi, I'll talk about some of my favorite tracks that I've been bumping from him next. Um, the number one for me has been New Choppa. That ASAP Rocky verse is one of his best in his entire catalog. The beat is hypnotic and intoxicating, and it's just such an easy song to get lost into, especially with that hype, smooth, fun, rocky verse that just dominates the track. Also, another song like Over off of Whole Lot of Red has been in rotation. Whole Lot of Red's always in rotation. Shout out Stop Breathing, shout out No Tang, shout out New Neon, Control, etc., etc., etc. Also, Location, which I just mentioned, has been huge for me this month foreign chapa won't miss and yamin also in rotation hella in terms of cardi bangers now future and young thug i also mentioned these two are a little bit different where like with travis and baby and cardi it's been a lot of songs whereas it, i mean of course it's songs that i'd be spamming but future and thug is a lot more albums so like future songs i've had on repeat from him is like jumping on a jet off of the wizard and Ben's Friends with Andre 3000 off of Honest. But it's more so just the albums. Listening to a lot of Future and Hendrix lately, of course. A lot of Monster, of course. And a lot of The Wizard. And then going to Thug, of course. Like I said, it's August. It was summer. So, so much fun. Very high up for me. Love that album. Been listening a lot. And Business is Business. One of my favorite albums of the year so far. Review will be out on that shortly. But I mean, yeah, trash like Parade on Cleveland, like Oh You Went, like Jonesboro. Jonesboro is another one of my favorite tracks that I've been bumping a lot. But yeah, I mean, can go wrong with Thug. And then A Boogie and Kodak are two rappers that I used to not like that much or really at all. Who this summer I've just gotten into their old hits and have listened to those a lot and then also used that to find new songs by them. So like, a Boogie, I've been, oh my god, look back at it, Drowning and Swerving, I listen to so much, like, 
I can't even like if I listen to one of them, I have to queue up the other two. Like those are three of my favorite songs right now. I'm listening all the time, of course. Some other tracks like Man in the Mirror, Money Conversations, Water Part Two, Four Minute Convo, DTV. I mean, I spent a lot of A Boogie this summer, and then Kodak is <laughs> drowning. I mean, uh, you know, he's also on drowning, but then no, f oh my God, no flocking is probably top one Kodak song. Tunnel Vision, been listening to a lot of, oh, what's that song called? Roll in Peace. And yeah, there's not a lot of albums that I've been bumping in particularly besides Utopia and albums I've been listening to for like review purposes. But in terms of tracks, I do got some other tracks that aren't by the artists that I already discussed that I wanted to bring in as some of my favorites. Number one is Chaining Day by J. Cole off of Born Sinner. I mean, this is recently become one of my favorite j cole tracks it is a, like a beautiful light-hearted uplifting piano type instrumental with some passionate rapping from j cole he's rapping about all the chains or all the money he'd be spending on chains and that other rapper be spending on chains but he, the song is about how that's like a bad practice and a bad use of money when people are buying chains just to get validation from other people and yeah, J. Cole just goes through that concept throughout the song, relates it to other rappers in the game, relates it to his own experience, talking about how that's why he doesn't rock that many chains or spend that money on chains. Um, beautiful chorus and refrain where we're just getting J. Cole saying where he's like, I need you to love me, love me, in between his awesome verses. And yeah, this is a really a bit of sleeper. I didn't discover this song recently again until I re-listened to Born Sinner. And it's been it's been on repeat a lot. I love Chaining Day. Another one, another summer anthem for me actually that I discovered is Coming Back by Domo Genesis and Mac Miller. And honestly, this is just a pretty standard party anthem. Heavily recommend. Domo Genesis' verses are great. He's got good bars. Mac Miller's got a crazy memorable chorus. We're just on there. I don't regret a single night I came home fucked up. You know, like, he just got the bars on there. And it fits the vibe. It's been fitting the vibe. I mean, it's another great track. If you haven't heard it, I'd recommend. Super fun, lighthearted, casual song. Also, wanted to talk about Florida Thang by Poya. Um, Poya used to be one of my favorite rappers in, like, 2017, 18 era. Like, when I was first listening to rap, a lot of my friends were big into Poya. So I was big into Poya for a while. And uh, this summer, he definitely re-emerged into my listening. A lot of my friends still bumping Poya. So a song like Florida Thang has been huge for me, especially when it's like off of the South Got Something to Say, where we see Poya, this super hard, gritty, fast rapping, murderous rapper, where we, where we see him start to merging into more like ethereal, more indie, more poppy type stuff. And we see it on a track like this, where we get some great singing from Poya over a very exuberant lively instrumental just super fun great rapping other tracks like suicidal thoughts in the back of the cadillac and aftershock are also back in rotation a good bit but that happens when you start listening to poya again also wanted to talk about last memory by takeoff um again rest in peace takeoff the rocket power review just went up a few days ago so i talked about him a little bit in there but the Last Memory, I think, is really one of the best trap songs to ever come out. And again, it's just this instrumental where it's not anything crazy. Super, It's more slowed down, more, you know, a mundane pace. But you get these great chopped vocal samples that hit with the drum patterns. You get takeoff, rapping, and a very hypnotic... He's got a very hypnotic flow going. His rhyming is great. And you get the memorable chorus. You know, it's a very memorable track. It sticks with you and again personal favorite song of mine recently and the last song i want to share with you guys another song from 2018 actually may have fallen out of some of your rotations it did of, of mine for a while but it's been back a lot recently broke as fuck by corday um damn this track is great you first half is this super fucking hype track just straightforward banger you got corday He's getting passionate. He's getting intense. You know, he's on there like, I was broke as fuck. Got up on my ass. Had the lowest luck. Super energetic track. But then you get the beat switch. And, you know, the beat slows down. It gets a lot more playful. A lot more 
lighthearted. And then you get some personal anecdotes from Corday rapping about wanting to get there. And this great motivational verse. And it's, again, su overall super great song. I don't know. I'm surprised it's forgotten as it is because this is really one of Corday's best tracks. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys this month. I feel like uh, feel like I came through with a lot of generic recommendations for you guys. But I've been listening to a lot of generic shit recently. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm not. But yeah, um, any songs you haven't heard that I talked about, I heavily recommend checking out. Let me know what some of your top songs of the month have been. What is your... Uh, you know, what's your soundtrack to August been? But yeah, you know, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.